Yeah. Hi everyone, this is Coffee with Z, episode 12. We've got the Costa Cup here, just in case Costa are watching. You know, if you want to do some sponsorship, just let you know. Anyway, Alfie, let's get into it. Okay, how important is pricing strategy in business? This is a great question, and this has come up further to a post I did when the, me and the family visited Starbucks Coffee. We are huge Costa Coffee fans. It was just that they have got about 24 hours and we needed to get a bit of snack for the family. The reason why this is so important is if you're trying to grow your business, you need money and cash flow. So if you don't have a pricing strategy that you understand and be able to communicate, you're not gonna grow. So I'm gonna do a quick one-on-one -on -one pricing strategy. The classic pricing strategy is gold, silver, bronze, a three-tier pricing. And the reason why you do this, either based on your services or your uh, offering that you're providing like the Starbucks or Costa they have different sizes of coffees and that's how they differentiate is because clients want different things and this way you don't leave no money on the table okay amazing um, so question number two is can you claim capital allowances on residential property great question a bit of a trick question the reason why is normally on residential property and what I mean by residential property is a buy to let that's fully let out or a HMO household or multiple occupancy when you rent by the room on a long-term stay you can't however if you rent on a short-term let a service accommodation or furnished holiday lets yes you can and these capital allowances can be amazing and if structured well and properly, believe it or not, you can earn one million pound tax-free still in the UK for income tax. Don't you love the UK tax system? Perfect. <laughs> so this one is a developer question. So how do you buy land and what are the implications? Really good question. I think this is a, a split question, whether it's a property investor or a property developer. First of all, you've got to understand what the land is going to be used for, right? If the land is going to be used to develop and sell, uh, like if you're going to put houses on there or uh, commercial property, then you will be a property developer, right? And therefore, you need to ensure you tr uh, structure it accordingly because that would be a trading business. Whereas if it's a property investor, is someone who builds them up uh, but to keep for rent. You also make, have to make sure you structure them well. And we're going to spend a little bit more time because this covers property developers and property investors. If you are a property investor, and I'll tackle with that firstly, is i.e. you're holding the land to develop uh, and then rent out, is you would use a group structure and have a family investment company at the top. Very important because you've got to mitigate inheritance tax, one of your big drivers. If you're a property developer, you still have a group structure um, and have a parent company and a subsidiary. And the reason being is if you have the subsidiary, as mentioned in the previous coffee disease, you've got a lot of fun reliefs that you can take advantage of. Uh, check out our business free business guides because we go into detail and you can save a lot of money on those by having this knowledge and being able to structure accordingly. Great, yeah, them. yeah. so there's Ex some big differences there. There's a huge difference, yeah. and it's just getting that understanding and then structuring and knowing the exit, as well as the upfront acquisition, mm. and getting good evaluation during the journey. So I hope that's huge value. Hope you guys are loving Coffee with Z, with Z with the Costa Cup, uh, if you're watching Costa again. I hope you're enjoying. If there's any other stuff you want, please do comment below. We love answering this. We've, this is going on LinkedIn, going on um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook are not that great at the moment for long videos. So we put those on as well uh, on all the other platforms. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. to put the claim together and make sure you claim it, the pre and post work. So yes, you can in certain circumstances. Great. Is your mic? <laughs> oh. Let's start again. Oh my oh. god, have I put it in the wrong way? It's upside down. I just oh. noticed that. I was like, your mic looks strange. You need to put it on upside down. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the blooper. <laughs> They're going to think you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not have that one. <laughs>